people think about eigenlayer, people might think about like restaking, but that's I think a very difficult way of grasping the concept. Um, I'll explain it in like basically two, three sentences what eigenlayer is. It's very, very simple. Like, you know, like Ethereum has these 900,000 validators around the world. They're basically computers that can do uh, networking, storage, compute, anything, you know, you can imagine that a computer can run, right? So they have like this very large network of excess uh, compute power, which eigenlayer then creates a job marketplace for these computers to opt into doing additional tasks and gain additional rewards. And if they don't do them correctly, then they get slashed and punished, right? That's all of this, That's, you know, very simple. And through that process, uh, you're able to, as a developer, program trust. Because previously, you can maybe launch, you know, smart contracts and access the trust of Ethereum, right? Ethereum is the sort of global trust network. But what if you want to build like another network on top of Ethereum and still access that trust, right? So through Eigenlayer, you can access three types of trust. The first is the centralized trust, meaning with these 900,000 computers around the world, they're distributed geographically, right, run by different people. How do you tap into that um, and, and create a robust system, right, a censorship resistant system? The second type of trust that you can access is economic trust. Uh, so the restaking part comes in where stakers, like you and I, right, we're individuals, we, del we depositors uh, or stake, right, usually in LSTs, liquid staking derivatives or t uh, tokens, right, like Steeth. Um, and, or we, if you're a solo staker, you can essentially still run your, your system, just your point where withdrawal keys to Eigenlayer. But, you know, mostly we can talk about like the LST. So stakers like you and me delegate or stake to these operators, to these Ethereum computers. Um, and essentially saying, I believe that this computer will do good work and will not collude, um, and thereby providing capital for economic security. So if these nodes do collude, then they get slashed. So there's just the second type of trust, which is economic trust. The third type of trust is Ethereum inclusion trust, meaning because most of these validators are Ethereum computers, you can do things on you know, the proposer level, the, you know, the block building level where you can you can make changes to block inclusion, block structuring, block ordering, right? Um, and many things around like MEV management. So essentially as a developer, you're able to access and program trust through three different ways through Eigenlayer uh, and essentially tap into the Ethereum trust network. I think Eigenlayer is gonna usher in a new era of uh, infrastructure building because I think we fundamentally abstract away what trust is and that can give developers, you know, their true expressibility on you know just building the best technical solutions instead of focusing on a lot of uh, other th other stuff around you know the, the core infrastructure building process there are generally two kinds of trust you have cryptographic trust which is basically guaranteed by math and then you have some trust which is what we call programmable trust they're basically based in economic value and these are basically represented through proof of stake networks so basically what Eigenlayer allows is normally when you bootstrap a proof of stake network, you need some sort of native token. You know, you, you Cosmos, the world, the world in Cosmos would be the great example. However, what we, we, what we allow through Eigenlayer is that you don't need a native token. You don't need to think about this capital allocation problem, finding the stakers, yada, yada, yada. You can focus on building the best tech, utilizing the underlying economic security from Eigenlayer, and then you can bootstrap your entire ecosystem. So just to give some example, simple proof of stake network can be an oracle, you know, coring information from another chain or outside sources. It can be a bridge connecting two blockchains and relaying information between them. Or you could be something very, very sophisticated, such as independent L1. And we know some uh, L1 right now currently are building on us. I think it will be, go, uh, will be public very, very soon as well. There should be two other group of people who should pay attention to Eigenlayer, the stakers and the Ethereum operators. So for stakers, it's a great opportunity to find additional rewards within the same ecosystem. And for the operators, it's a great way for you to think about how to differentiate in a highly competitive operator business. So I think to these two group of people, you should definitely pay attention to Eigenlayer. I think it's gonna be really fascinating. And the last group I don't think we talk a lot about, I think it's gonna be just people who are thinking about digital assets in general, because I think what Eigenlayer will, will be, is gonna be, it's gonna make uh, Ethereum have much more moat inside the entire digital uh, asset ecosystem because we're trying to make Ethereum the base assets of programmable trust.